When you open an assembly, one of the first things you'll notice is the way mates are displayed in the feature tree. Icons have been added to show the different types of mates. So, coincident mates will have a coincident icon, concentric mates will have a concentric icon, etc. This makes it much easier to find a mate in this list if you already know the type of mate you're looking for. I'll launch the mate tool so we can take a look at some of the other additions and changes with mates. A few new mate types have been added for 2008, as well as a new mechanical mates section. There's also a new analysis tab at the top. This tab allows you to add mates for use in Cosmos Motion. One of the new mates for 2008 is the lock mate that has been added. This mate will allow you to lock the position between two components relative to each other. If I move one of the arms in this linkage, you'll see they're both able to rotate. I'll use the lock mate and select both of the arms. When I click OK, you'll see that they're locked relative to each other. This is the same behavior I would get if I had made a subassembly with the arms instead and set the subassembly to rigid instead of flexible. The lock mate makes it easy to have this type of behavior at the part level instead.